YouTube, I figured that as long as I was filming in front of my shelves, I would do the on my bookshelf, not exactly tag, but video. And this is where you get sets of numbers and you pick out the book on your shelf that corresponds with that number and you tell a story about it. You tell what you know about it. The numbers I'm using for this one I got from Books and Quills video, which I will link below. So the first set is 8 and 10. So bookshelf 8 and the 10th book along. The book I have is After by Melvin Jules Bouquet, and this is one of my unread books that I've had for a very long time, and I will admit I don't even really remember when or why I got it. It does sound really interesting though. It is set just after World War II where three ex-prisoners out of the camps discover gold that was actually from the fillings of Jewish prisoners and then it goes on from there. This seems like a really weird book. I'm not really sure why I have it but I have this thing about if I acquire a book and I haven't read it yet I feel like I have to give it a chance I can't just give it away even if I'm not really sure why I got it. Well, that's a disappointing start to this day. <laughs> Next is Two and Five. So the book I have is Are You My Mother by Alison Bechtel. This is a graphic novel. I read Fun Home by Alison Bechtel and adored it. It's one of my favorite books. So when I found out that she was coming out with a new book with a similar premise, I immediately jumped on it. Unfortunately, I didn't like it nearly as much as Fun Home. It's still good, but while Fun Home had all of these references to books and literature, this one has a lot of references to psychotherapy and things like that, which just was not nearly as resonant with me as the first book. So I still like it, I'm still going to keep it, but it was a little bit of a disappointing read. The next set of numbers is 1 and 9, and that's the BFG by Roald Dahl. I loved Roald Dahl as a kid, obviously, who didn't? Roald Dahl and Shel Silverstein were some of my favorite authors because they were so funny and they didn't really talk down to kids. But these ones, I think, are ones that are on my maybe I'm going to get rid of them pile because since reading his books, I have found out that Roald Dahl was not the greatest guy. He was very sexist, very racist, and it kind of has soured the book some for me. I'll definitely still keep Matilda, and I might keep Charlie and the Chocolate Factory and The Great Glass Elevator, but I probably won't keep some of his other ones that I've collected for sentimental reasons. I'll probably either trade them in or give them to my niece. The next set is 7 and 12. The book I have is one of my unread lesbian nonfiction books, and that is Lesbian Images by Jane Rule. Jane Rule is sort of a classic lesbian author, and I really want to read her books, but I actually haven't read any of them yet. And in the meantime, I've collected, I think, all of them, and it's ridiculous that I haven't read one when I've bought all of them or acquired them in some way. So this is kind of a lesbian perspective on women authors. So it's a lesbian book about lesbian books, which are my favorite kind of books. <laughs> and I'm, I really want to read this, but I haven't gotten around to it yet. And I have probably been saying that for several years. And lastly, the set of numbers is seven and one. And the book I have is Dyke Strippers. I feel like it speaks for itself. It's another one I haven't read yet, but it's about lesbian cartoonists, and I love the title so much. It looks amazing. So that was my On My Shelf video. I've had so many books for so long that it's kind of sad how much I have forgotten about them. I really got to get around to reading them. But if you'd like me to do another on my shelf video, just leave some numbers down below. I've got about 20 bookshelves and let's say 25 books on each shelf. If you want to leave me some numbers where the first number is up to 20 and the second number is up to 25, I can do another one of these videos. I'll do my own set of numbers if you'd like to do this video. So I will do 12, 4, 3, 7, 10, 2, 3, 
17 and 2, 1. Thanks for watching.